Our simulation is not finished yet. We made our agents transition from the run clips to the run to stop, as we see here. To prevent this second clip from playing on loop, we went to the agent setup, added an agent clip properties node and turned off this enable looping option. However, there is a drawback to this. When the run to stop clip ends, the agents stay frozen because they don't have any other clip to play. Is there any way to fix this? Of course, we need a third clip, an idle animation to show that our agents are still alive, breathing or looking around, but staying in place. With this third clip, we are going to create a sequence of clips so that our agents stay alive from the first frame to the last. Let's go to Mixamo and look for a couple of new clips. Make sure your character is the same as in Houdini, go to the Animations tab and search for idle clips. I think this one here will work very well, because if you look at the pose, it's very similar to the one our agents have in Houdini. So let's click download and save the file. Let me see if there's something else. This one. The position of the legs is very similar to mine. The character is holding the sword and then looking around. Good, good. Download this one too. Okay, now we have to go through the same steps as in previous videos to add those two new clips to my agent. Go to the agent setup, select the agent clip node. Where is my agent? Oh, it's here. If you ever lose sight of your agent or the camera in the viewport is pointing somewhere else, you can hold space and press G. That would center the view on the selected node. Now on the parameters window, I'll click on the plus button twice to create a couple of new fields. Set the input to FBX, then click here and look for your file. Idle, neutral, no prop 01. I'll copy the file name and paste it here as clip name and then turn on convert to in place animation. Now the same with the other clip. Input to FBX, look for the file, idle, neutral, source 01. Copy and paste the file name and turn on Convert to in place animation. Done! Do I have to add any clip property to these new clips? No, I don't. We want these idle clips to play on loop, and as long as we don't tell Houdini otherwise, they will play on loop. So, we don't have to do anything in the Agent Clip Properties node. But we do have to make a few adjustments to the clip transition graph. At this moment, we only have transitions from Run 01 and Run 02 to the Run to Stop clip. But now I need to create transitions from the Run to Stop clip to these two idols I've just added. To do that, I'll click on the plus button to create an extra transition. Select the run to stop as the clip A, the initial clip, and the first idle as the clip B. We see a new arrow in the viewport connecting the run to stop to the first idle. Turn on the show guide geometry to see your agents and let's look for a frame that we could use as a bridge between the two clips. What frame should I pick from the run to stop? Well, I don't have much choice here. I want my agent to transition from the idle clip once the run to stop clip has finished. So the only frame I can pick here is the last one, frame 23. The transition region will be 23, same as above, plus 1, 24. But there is a problem with these frames. If I leave the transition region as 23, 24, I have a small chance of transitioning at frame 24, which would be already on the next cycle of the loop. To avoid that, I'll set the sync frame A to 22, the previous frame, 
and then the transition region to 22-23. Problem solved. And now for clip B, it doesn't matter what frame you choose because it's basically the same throughout the whole clip. So let's set it to frame 1. Blend frames, let's put 6. And so we have the first bridge between the run to stop and the first idle clip. Same now with the second idle. Create an extra transition. Clip A will be run to stop. Clip B will be the second idle, the one with the sword. Remember to turn off the show guide geometry so you don't get it mixed up. And now, you know the drill. Clip A, we said before that we will be using the last frames. Frame 22 as sync frame A, transition region 22, 23, blend frames to 6. And now let's search the clip B and see what frame we can get. There is a moment in this clip when the agent puts the sword down. And the position here looks very similar to the one in clip A. Frame 20 looks very good. And because this idle clip is a bit longer, I'm going to create a new bridge. Set this again to 22, 22, 23 and 6 blend frames. Turn off the previous show guide geometry and turn on this new one. Now let's take a look at clip B. Here the agent is putting the sword up again and the poses are matching. So I'll pick this frame. Frame 134. Turn off the show guide geometry and your transition graph will now have connections from the two run clips to the run to stop and then from the run to stop clip to this new idle clips we added at the beginning of this video. By setting up these transitions in the clip transition graph we have actually drawn a full path from the run clips to the idle clips. What that means is that we can now transition directly from the run clips to the idle clips without having to use the run to stop one. Let me change this clip in the test simulation to the first idle clip. Houdini will now understand that in order to transition to the idle clip, it must go through the run to stop clip. In other words, we just have to tell Houdini what the final destination, the final clip is. And it will find the way to get there. Let's press play and see the results. The agent starts with the run clip, then he plays the run to stop, and finally the idle clip. But there's something wrong with the last clip. This rotation is a very common issue and will drive you crazy every once in a while especially if you are using a lot of different clips. This unexpected rotation comes from the locomotion orient parameter. Remember when we configured the locomotion channel in the agent clip node? We told Houdini that the part of the body that directed the motion and orientation of the agent was the hips. The hips will work whenever we have clips with motion in space, like a walk or run animation. But if we are mixing those animations with idle animations where the agent doesn't move in space but stays in place, like this one here, we'll probably have to change those values. Let's take a closer look at the hips. You see that the hips rotate, right? When the agent looks around, the hips turn right. Since we told Houdini that both the motion and the orientation were directed by the hips, when the hips turn right, Houdini thinks that the agent is moving that way, so it changes the orientation. To fix this, we are going to set as both locomotion joint and orient the head, not the hips. Turn off the clip preview, display the test simulation and press play to see if it works.
Yes, our agent doesn't rotate anymore. Now his orientation is directed by the head and not by the hips. Awesome, so the transition to the first idle clip works fine. Now let's test the second idle clip. Good job! Okay, so now that we know that our transitions work fine, we have to pass all this information onto the simulation, the dotnet. Go to the crowd sim where all the calculations are being made. Because I have added two new clips, the idle ones, to my agent, I'll have to create two more crowd states. Let me move these nodes over here so we have more space, create a crowd state and name it after the clip you want to represent. Remember to set the type to locomotive. And then I'll duplicate the node and change the name to the other clip, sort01. I'm going to connect these two idle states to the merge node and press L to lay out the nodes and keep it clean. Now I'm going to update the crowd transitions. I don't want them to transition to the run to stop clip, but to the final clip, which is the idle. But here comes a dilemma, ladies and gentlemen. In the crowd transition node, I can select only one clip at a time. This one is set to transition from the run to the idle neutral no prop 01. And then I'll set the second transition to the idle neutral source 01. Note that when we generated our crowd with the crowd source node, we told Houdini that we wanted to use these two clips as initial state. By configuring the transitions this way, only those agents playing the run neutral sword 01 will transition to the idle neutral no prop 01. And only those agents playing the run neutral sword 02 will transition to the idle neutral sword 01. Fortunately, we can modify the crowd state node so it represents not only one clip, but a group of clips. On the parameters window, in this parameter called clip assignment, we have different options. Single clip is the one that comes by default. What this means is that this crowd state node will represent only one clip, whose name is $OS, meaning the name of the node. That's why we always named our crowd states after the clips they represent, because that would be the clip name. By clicking on this arrow, we can see a list of all the clips our agent has. But we have also this wonderful option called random distribution that allows us to create a group of clips. Let me create a new crowd state node and set its clip assignment to random distribution. Connect it to the merge node and then add to this random distribution your two idle clips. Now this crowd state node represents both idle clips. So I'm going to call it idle. And in the crowd transitions, I'm going to change the output state to this idle group. Whenever our agents transition from the run clip to this idle group, Houdini will choose randomly one of these two idols I've added to the group. In other words, each agent will transition to a different idle clip randomly picked by Houdini. I don't need these two crowd states anymore because they are now included in the idle group state. Great! Press L again to lay out the nodes and that's all for now. Now the fireproof. Press play and your agents should transition first to the run to stop and then to the idle and stay idle forever. 
but seems like we still have an error somewhere because my agents are turning around. What's wrong with you guys? You were very brave with your swords and your axes, but then you saw the enemy and turn around. You cowards! The problem here <laughs> is that this idle group is not set to locomotive. Change it and now it should be fine. Perfect! Now you know how to create a whole sequence of clips for your agents.